Did you know that Planet Scale has a CLI? Let's see how to use it in about five minutes. We'll learn how to create databases, branches, and a lot more. Hey everyone, my name is James Quick and I'm a developer advocate here at PlanetScale. And in this video, I'm gonna show you in about five minutes how to use the PlanetScale CLI. Let's jump into it. All right, so the first thing is to actually install the PlanetScale CLI. So I'll have a link to this doc, which is PlanetScale Environment Setup. And inside of here, you can see if you're on Mac, you can use Brew. If you're on Linux, there's commands. And if you're on Windows, there's commands as well. So you need to have both the PlanetScale CLI and then MySQL client installed to be able to work with this. So go through the setup and once you get it installed, you can come to your command line and run pscale dash dash version to confirm that that's been set up correctly. Now from there, we can come and look at another doc where we can see a few of the commands that we're gonna run. So we're gonna create databases, we're gonna create branches and deploy requests, and we'll talk about all this and kind of show you how that is interacting inside of the actual dashboard itself. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna run pscale log in to make sure that I'm logged in. This will redirect me over to the browser. I can confirm that the code here is the same as the one listed here. So after I confirm this code, it says, all right, you're good. And then I can come back to my tab and see that I'm successfully logged in. That's great. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a new database. So we'll call pscale database create, and then we'll give it a name. And in this case, we'll call it CLI-DB. All right, looks like that uh, database was created, which is great. We can see that by running the command pscale database ls will show us all of our databases and you can see that cli db is at the bottom there so that worked well now the next thing i want to do is add an actual table to this database i'm going to copy a little bit from a project that we call we have called uh, beam this is an internal tool that we use but we have an open source version on github that you can go and check out and look at if you want and this uses prisma but i'm going to do a sql version of creating this post table so that's what we're going to do I'm gonna come back to the CLI and I'm gonna paste, or I'm gonna copy this little snippet here for creating the table. And then I'm gonna activate the shell so that we can interact with the database directly from this terminal. So we can call pscale shell and then give it the name of the database that we wanna work with, which is CLIDB. Now I'm directly inside of my database. So I can do things like call show tables to prove that there are no tables actually there. So now I'm gonna paste in this snippet. You can grab this again from the Beam repository if you want to, uh, but this is gonna create the post table and make sure to end that with a semicolon. And then after that has run, if we run show tables again, we can see that this post table has been created, which is great. We can also then call describe of post table. It'll show us all the columns that we have in there. So that is all good and working. Now, the next thing that's important for you to know with planet scales that we have branches for our databases. So we can take one branch and create a copy of it into another branch. So first let's take a look at our different branches. So we'll call branch list and then DB slash CLI. Actually, this is CLI dash DB. This will show us all the branches. So this is our main branch and it is not yet a production branch. So we actually want to make this a production branch. So we can call pscale branch promote. We can promote this branch that's in the cli.d or dash db database. And then the branch is main. This will go ahead and promote that main branch to be a production branch. So after that has finished, if we then list off the branches again, you'll see that this is now listed as a production branch. So from here, we want to create a separate dev branch that we can work with. So we can call pscale branch create and then we wanna do it inside of our CLI-DB database and then call this our dev branch. Now this says that it's been created just to kind of show you what we're working with. Let's go into the dashboard and search for our CLI-DB database. So you can go and see this. We can see that we have our branches here. Our main is tagged as production and then our develop, our dev branch is initializing here. So once that's ready to go, we're gonna make a data change to the dev branch and then do a deploy to our main branch by using deploy requests. All right, so that dev branch is completely created and set up. Now we wanna actually go in and update the schema model inside of our dev branch. So to do this, we'll do our pscale shell and then CLI DB. Now that we have multiple branches, it's gonna ask us which branch we wanna work on. In this case, I wanna work on dev. It's gonna to connect to our dev and I'm going to copy in a snippet that will update this table or alter this table to add a tag property that we can add to our post. 
All right, uh, if we go and do a describe of our post table, we should see this new tag category is added or that new tag field is added, which is great. So let's get out of this and let's now create a deploy request. Since we have branches inside of planet scale to merge our schema changes into our main production branch, we do that through a deploy request. So we can do P scale deploy request, create CLI DB, and then we wanna create this for the dev branch. So let's go and actually create that deploy request. And then we can run P scale deploy request LS to show all the ones that we have available to us. And I think I'm missing the CLI dash DB. And actually that goes on the end. So this will be P scale deploy request LS and then CLI DB. Uh, so it should show that we have that ready. Uh, it's kind of tough to see on here. We can make this wider to get better formatting. Uh, but you can see that this is the number one deploy request. So now let's say we feel good about that. If we come and look inside of our database in the dashboard, we should also be able to see our deploy request here. And let's say that instead of it being open, we want to go ahead and approve that from here. We can call P scale deploy request deploy in our CLI database. And then the number of the deploy request that we want to actually deploy. So if we see this, that says that it's successfully been queued. We should now see a new status. If we look into this deploy request here, you should see that it's deploying the changes, which is great. Once that is done, we'll see that those changes have taken place. And we can do this by calling the pscale shell, uh, pscale shell for CLI dash DB. Want to do this for our main branch now. And then once we get there, we can describe the post table and this should show us now that we have our new tag property inside of the post table so that's the planet scale cli in about five minutes you can create databases branches deploy requests work directly with your schemas all the things that you could want to do you can do directly from the cli if you haven't yet tried out planet scale you can go to planetscale.com and check it out if you do let me know in the comments below what you think hope you enjoyed the video and we'll catch you in the next one